Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Today we have 2020. It could be 2021, 2022, or 2019. Uh, Ford Transit Connect. Uh, unfortunately, the car ran into an accident. And uh, we are here to replace the airbag control module and some components component component that they get messed up uh, how to replace it where is the location of it you can watch the ferris video and thank you for your support and uh, your being with us and for your ideas and uh, and help for making this uh, page for our youtube channel working and going uh, giving information the little information that we have we don't have everything but we do our best now uh, before when there is an accident come everybody know that there are some sensor at the front that calculate the speed of the car uh, what looking sensing the impact where it's coming from and then it will send signal to the airbag control module which it was from there it will send signal to deploy cushion or the air back that means uh, is, there is a back here that will be filled with the air and the air coming from a component inside that mixed with a chemical um, safety material that will uh, you know like explode and produce gas and that gas will come and in a in a matter of seconds milliseconds will pop up out before you hit your head here or anything or your chest it will become a cushion for you to uh, you know like to save you from those impacts uh, one of the things that you need to put your seat belt on in order for you this one can come out because sometimes you don't have a seat belt on maybe this one will not come out and you'll be in trouble okay we already uh, show you in the first video where is the location of the air back control module is here you have to move this seat back to move this one and this one was being replaced Passenger airbag was replaced, seat belt was replaced. If there's a curtain also, it will be replaced. Let me show you what uh, was replaced. Okay, we're coming here. This is a mechanical uh, like engine mount or transmission mount. It broke because of the impact of the accident. This is an airbag which like uh, consider it as black box in the airplane it will register and if there is any crash data it will it will be here and will get locked some european car you can use the airbag control module again and again two three four times but on ford anything locked you have to be replaced or there is some people that have a material have a tool that they can go inside and they reset this airbag without even taking it out okay this is the uh, clock spring it have functions of uh, steering column like uh, acceleration deceleration sensor one you know like how to the, the car need to know how you drive with um, in cruise control or in abs this is the air back that the original one when it deploy the back come out from here full of air driver side passenger side have one like this this one will open and the air back come out from this area here and come fill out to protect the passenger those are some sensors that at the front you need to change them sometimes you don't need to change it you see here and this also one they all those are the sensor that is there also you see this one here this is the air why we change this one if you have sometimes the, if you have the wiring harness those clips if you have it you cut it from here and you change it you don't need to change this one but sometimes you must change it and if you have to change it you have to why because those melt and if you take it out you cannot put it into the new one here they all get melt because here is the heat this is a seat belt i know some companies they fix it also there is an airbag uh, element here that it get send signal and there is like a pin can go out from here and stop the airbag from moving some people they change the whole mechanism put the seat belt back it will work this also one of the wire that get melt maybe this is for the passenger side airbag you see here 
I don't know, but it could be something like that. But now, we know what we change and the airbag control module. Now, this, the, the next step is to... Okay, we are now here back. Uh, I show you what we need to do on the car. We put the new computer inside, pre-collusion assist. Here is our problem. This car is new car, 2020, 2022. We are not going to do any work with this car with the IDS. No IDS. No uh, FGDRS. Must be IDS for all the car or FDRS, this one. We're gonna open FDRS. Your battery have to be collected, connected to the charger. This one must be good also. Be sure that you have uh, uh, VCM2 or VCM3. And let's go. This is, you open this Moroc FGDRS. This FDRS, be sure that it is well connected. Uh, software is good. But if you notice here, my software is finished in 11 days. As long as you have original, good, Ford Morocraft IDS software active, you, the, the FDRS is free. So I will say, okay, I know that. Now here, you have non-dealer access and you have dealer access. So I'm gonna go to non-dealer access. I'm in US, I click okay. And now here you're gonna put your username and password. I know that's my username. I'm gonna look for my password. Give me one minute, please. That's my password, and I log in. Is everything is okay? It will go through step by step. And now it asks you, this is the one that you want to choose? You say yes. And now it will communicate with you which car you want to do. The first one, 2020. You see here, already give you the picture. Click OK. For transit, now we're going to look at the car. Scan the car. Be sure that you will be able to... This is the way how it works. If you want to put new car, go to the left. If you want to put a used car, go to the right. And if you notice, perform the network test. You, this software work offline or online. Be sure your internet is good. Battery charging is good. Let me start it now. The car is ready, so I'm going to put the AC a little bit. Just to have everything good. Downloading is complete. But now perform network test. You're going to be patient a little bit. Okay, here is all the stuff. So now, you see everything you have here. All the information, the car year model. I want to work only in one thing. I don't want to do more stuff. Image processor, we have one code, uh, some codes, and also power steering, restraint. I'm going to work on the restraint first. I'm going to work on the restraint system. Here you cannot choose anything. Go continue. This this he tell you what is there. So what do you wanna scan? Let me scan the whole car for you, okay? One, two, no. I'm gonna say self-test. I just I just did one. I choose one. And that's not enough. So now I'm gonna choose all the self tests. ABS, power steering, anything orange. You cannot choose more than five at the same time. You see, now I have all this. I cannot choose more than five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go run the test. You can choose only one, but I just wanna know what I have as a problem. I choose five pieces. Here they will come out. They will give us the quotes, what it is, what you need to do. PCM power steering module. Uh, image processing unit, ABS, SCCM, and RCM. And then from there, I would take ABS. I would I would write down the codes. You can take a picture of the code to show the customer, because they need to know what's going on, right? Before and after. Nah, he 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 won't he won't. He just need the car. I would like to have it. 
Okay. Then if you can fix it, fix it for me. Okay, let's see here. Now we have to agree. Agree with the system. And now we're gonna it will give us the diagnosis information. Every company has its own way of diagnosis or own way of troubleshooting. You can go by one one by one. My concern is uh, the, the restraint system. And here is a pre collusion assist, it's not there. Mm -hmm. This is six computers at the time. Also, you can go by one at a time. You see now here, For ABS, we have one code longitudinal accelerator sensor uh, and also image processing unit received from brake system yeah okay something from the brake is not good until like brake occupant classification system we have a problem second row second row second second row side set build pretension and deployment control second row initial configuration central configuration we have to do the airbag configuration first because it's not programmed yet invalid received until like brake system abs module okay so now we're gonna do what let me go back in the toolbox and then i will go to abs leave this one here i want to go to abs here what do you need from the abs let me see for abs Okay, ABS brake system pressure bleeding, ABS anti-lock brake system module bleeding. I don't need ABS, I need RCM. This is the one. What do you need? RCM programmable module installation. Download. I have to program it. Now I'm launching this application. Download the software. Chrysler have the same symptom. Before connecting the procedure, connect the vehicle battery to the suitable external power charge in order to maintain constant battery. We are good. Say yes. Is this is, is this original module installed? Yes. Is the original module installed? Installed? No. Turn the ignition on, engine off. Restore module installation. Checking module communication. Restore module installation request. Restore module installation. Update module configuration. Turn the ignition off. Press OK. Application finished. Please press next. Okay, now I want to see what I have. Self test. Run self test for the ABS only. Now I'm gonna run only one. You see now here I don't see I don't see the airbag is gone, but now we have a lot of code here. The hood is closed or open. Run as selected. Pre collision assist not available. We're gonna look that. Okay. I'm gonna see what I have in the AB in the in the airbag. 
Okay, now we have acupuncture classification system. Okay, now I have one code for acupuncture classification. What code I have? You say B00A. Okay, let me go back to acupuncture classification to see what happened. I gotta go to toolbox. RCM clear the restraint control module RCM crash data. Wow, this is 2022. It have the ability of clearing the crash data too. I never see that. Because I thought that it just worked, but it looked like it have a uh, clear that crash data clearing. Okay. Let me now go to self test and clear the code. Okay, I gotta see us occupant classification what he need toolbar OCM occupation qualification reset clear of the service function if new OCS passenger sensor has been installed program module installation this enable user to install no we don't have that one so let me see the test what i have hello alaikum salam how are you yes hi how are you Now I have something like this. U code loss communication is the ECM PCM. Very strange. Clear and read again. Continue. I don't know why it's a pre collusion assist not available. Now we say check brakes, brake, service truck, service manual, pre collision assist not available. Okay, so let me see what we can do here. Now, airbag, we have no problem with it now. Let me go back to the tools. Airbag good, SRS, SRS. Let me go here. Because if you have a coat. I'm running the self test. That's a lot of okay. Run the test here to see what's going on. Hmm. Pre-collusion assist not available. Pre-collusion need to be need to be done with the ABS have to be the ABS have to be fixed first. Okay, you have occupant classification. We have a code. This is long time ago. Occupant classification have a code long time ago. So I'm gonna clear it now. Continue. You have it for 999 days or nine, 900 is too much. This car never have 900. I'm cleaning the coat to see if it's gonna go away. And now we're gonna go to the ABS, try to finish with the ABS. 
Okay, now I don't see nothing on the on the on the airbag. Airbag look good. All the older yeah, quotes they got. No, that was different. No, that long time. Yeah, so let me try to get something now. ABS. Mm -hmm. We're gonna work for ABS to see what we have. ABS. Click on ABS. Self test. Run. ABS, I gotta go one by one to finish them, one by one. Let's see what ABS I have. I see airbag, airbag. You have you have the left door ajar open, right? Close yeah, it so that... Open. Okay, you see ABS? Okay, longitude. You see the longitude accelerator sensor? Maybe C0062. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go back to the toolbox. And then we're gonna go to brake system, pressure bleeding, anti-lock brake system, manual bleeding, configuration, anti-lock brake system, calibration, hydraulic unit, programmable, anti-lock brake okay. Anti lock brake system, ABS calibration. Let me see what you're gonna say here. We say this routine will calibrate the brake system sensors and should be used after module or system component replacement so I gotta go here download this and then I will run it let me see what you're gonna say anti-lock brake system calibration do not shake or bounce the vehicle ensure that you are not pressing the brake pedal park the vehicle on level ground do not depress the accelerator pedal during this test Ensure that the steering wheel is set to the straight ahead position. Do not move the steering wheel during the routine. <coughs> okay, maybe it's gonna help this too. Yeah. So now let's go. I'm I'm ready, yes. Turn the ignition on. Yes. Anti lock brake system caliber system brakes pressure lateral acceleration sensor longitude acceleration sensor steering angle sensor yaw rate sensor roll over sensor clearing DTC yes I hear the music oh I see the ABS run away you run away you never that okay now clear the code turn the car off Turn the car off. Say okay. Procedure complete. Okay. Application finished. Please press okay. That's all. Wait, 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 wait. I start the car. Let me close the door. Now, do I have anything here? Your door is ajar. Close the door. No, yeah, your door open. My door. Yes, my friends, thank you. Who is watching now this video, whether you are from Australia, Guinea, New Papua, or from Africa, or Middle India, East, or Pakistan, US, or America, whatever. all over the world, I love you. And I say hello to everybody. Let me see now what code I have now. ABS light is still, he said, they are on, but I don't believe this is, let me reset everything. I'm gonna do one thing now. I'm gonna go all. Then I will run the test. I'm gonna run all the tests, run it. It's in the car. <laughs> Maybe he gave me the key. My key is here. Now you see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So now I'm gonna choose no, you had a one. That, that two. I'm gonna choose five ABS, SCCN, all this, and then I run test. When I'm gonna run the test, he will ask me, Are you sure you wanna run the test? Because I'm running the test. Where are you going? Okay. So now I know that it takes some long time. 
even my 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 cell phone battery is going dead. So I'm gonna agree with this one now. I have some codes and everything look like orange now. So I'm gonna see what is there and I clear them. When they come up with their codes. Blinking. Yeah, because we are in the test yeah, mode. When we are in test mode, here. it will blink. Say yes. You have to scroll to read everything. You see, even those colors sometimes are red. Speakers, speakers. You see, initial configuration for the ACM. Lost communication with the ECM PCM. You see, this one here. This one here, the ACM. This one here. He need to be configured too. So let's ACM need configuration. Okay. So let's clear, clear it again cleared and reset it speakers i'm not gonna care about ac say speaker speakers maybe this car here some speakers are missing or they took it out i'm not sure but i'm gonna clear all the codes and see how many codes i have it has this green abs is green he asked me are you sure abs is green now which is good sccm is green i know acm is not green IPMA, I don't know what is that, but I love this green color. It's good for the eye. <laughs> what? Mm. But when you see orange or red, it's oh, trouble. Then you, get crazy. you have to spend part on. Good? Green? Good? Wow. Everything green. Okay, it still ask you, are you sure you want to continue? Guys, I know that it takes a long time, but we have to be here. Mm. Now, ACM, ACM maybe needs something. It's supposed to go through five, but he jumped. Oh, four, then five. ACM, he have a problem. Start engine, yeah, I will. Let me answer this phone. Okay, now he say start the engine. I started, right? Yeah, I start the engine, continue. Let me see somebody calling me, my son calling me. That was a green. So the only problem we have ACM, why is ACM? Yeah, Amir, salam alaikum. Okay, uh, you see now everything is good. The same machine here, the same piece here. They have like four core, one, two, three, four, say, one, two, three, four, speaker number three, speaker number four, speaker number nine, speaker number 10. I don't know what that means, but initialize, initial configuration not complete. So I'm gonna go to this one here. I gotta go back to the tools and I will choose only AKB. See, everything now is good, except this one, ACM. What is the ACM? Audio front control. Let me click on it. Now I'm gonna, ACM programmable module, ACM audio front control module, ACM configuration. So I'm gonna configure it only. Download the configuration. Hold on, please. 